You got it. Let me know. You got it. All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. And the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here <clears throat> that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go in this lesson on um, basically treat the maintenance man the same way that you would treat the president. Okay? That goes for, you know, the president, you know, he's supposed to treat the maintenance man, you know, with that respect also, man. You know, in this uh, society, there's a lot of oppression, you know, and uh, the scriptures talks about, you know, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. Okay, but this society, you know, they don't they don't look at, you know, the person that's being oppressed is, is, uh, is wise. They look at the person that that has the the, the uh, degree or, you know, some type of uh, um, position of power in this society that they are uh, more uh, special, you know, than, than the next person. Whereas though the, the, the scriptures uh, talks about how the Lord sets up the lowest of men, okay? Whereas though the people that you would, you would expect to be on top, okay, aren't at top, you know, like that person that was in the sports, okay, but, you know, he just didn't make it for some reason, he, you know, you got some guys that, that are, you know, better than, you know, MJ that never made it, but then you got people in the NBA who, you know, just because they, they, they did good in, in school or, you know, you even got some, 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 some extreme idiots in the NBA, you know, just to use that sports for an example, you know, but the, the, the thing is that this society teaches, you know, to, to, to oppress the person that, you know, is, is just a regular worker, you know? That he's not, you know, anywhere near on the level of the, the, the boss, okay? So, um, you had a scripture out, or you want to say something? Yeah, Con, um, like, I mean, you hit it at home, you know, basically, um, like even in coaching, for instance, you got people set up in coaching that never played the game, you know, but they got that position, not because you know that you know they was a dominant, uh, uh, dominant presence on the field, but because you know, not even their stature or their status got them that position. They got it through you know so-called degrees or, you know, statuses that um, that Esau society puts you on. But um, like you said, um, I'm a, I got Daniel's four and seventeen. And it says, this matter is, is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. Now, we know that's talking about Esau, <clears throat> but in this society, we got the basis of men set up ruling over, um, you know, the men of the Lord. You know, and, and that even includes these women. You got these posi uh, these jobs, these uh, places where we go for, uh, you know, to serve out our, you know, our plantational work, these so-called jobs. And you have basis men set up and you have women set up ruling over you. Like a person that's not even really qualified for the, for the position is giving you orders. And, you know, I got real quick the definition, you know, to, of glory, you know, it, and it means to act superior and domineer, domineering man, I'm, I'm d acting, I mean, Salakia, act superior and domineer in a manner toward, order about, poor rank, have one's thumb over, or to tyrannize, you know, and that's basically, you know, what's, what's over us in these situations we got at these places of employment. Yeah, you got women who are extremely uh, emotional, you know, they, 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 they feel as though that they can just say whatever they want to you, you know, at the job, you know, whereas though us as men, we know that we're not going to allow any uh, regular man to just, you know, speak to us any type of way, you know, because that's just, that's just what men do, you know, men don't, men, a real man ain't supposed to be talking to another man, you know, like you're some type of child, you know, or, or um, like he's some, uh, uh, you know, uh, women, women, the black women don't, don't respect men anyway, you know? So if they're in 
a position of power. They're going to allow that to get to their head, man. You know? Now, we, 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 you brought out the scripture about, um, you know, the Lord set up the lowest of men, you know, the, the basis of men to be, um, you know, basically in positions of power, you know, not because that person, uh, earned the position because the Lord can put whoever he want, like Donald Trump, you know, the, the Lord put Donald Trump into office. Okay. Not because Donald Trump is a wise president, you know, Donald Trump, uh, used what he knew, okay, to, to, to speak into the, the hearts of simple-minded people, you know, and they voted for him. And then anybody who knows anything, okay, Donald Trump didn't get in by the popular vote, you know? Donald Trump got in by the electoral vote, okay? Which shows you that this is this system, you know, is 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 rigged anyway. Huh. You know? But um I got a scripture, Ecclesiastes nine and fourteen. <laughs> It says there was there was a little city and few men within it, and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was a there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. Okay, and when you go into, like, these companies, you know, like, you have, um, what is it, the the, uh, the, the CEO for Dunkin' Donuts he yeah. said that, you know, he don't want to raise up the, the uh, minimum wage. Meanwhile, this guy is getting paid, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, yearly, man, you know? But he, he don't want to, to um, pay the people that are, you know, waking up in the morning, okay, early in the morning, mind you, to, to, to make sure that these people have their cups of coffee, you know? Right. De- dealing with the attitudes, you know? So probably getting robbed, you know? Because you don't wanna you don't wanna take away from what you got, so you you know, you don't you know, in order to help those people out. Right. You know? Because this society is is wicked, man. You know, the, the 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 person that's at the top, he didn't get there because you know he he know how to make donuts. He done found this secret recipe. You know, he know how to make coffee. You know how to make chai tea. You know, these and then a lot of these people are getting rich from off from off of you know the blood, sweat, and tears of the Israelites, man. That's right. You know, so so those are the people who they really oppressing. You know, and you people. That that like living in this society, man. Y'all gotta y'all gotta rude awakening coming for y'all, man. Tom. Because this place about to get destroyed, man. That's right. You know, and the, the minute we look, we look at we looking for, for for our ticket out of this place, man. That's right. You know, but I gotta say this: when you got the the, the the president, the CEO, or you know the ruler of these companies, right? They looking at the maintenance man like, oh, that's just a maintenance man. Right. You know? Fuck him. Like we can replace him. But you don't understand that that maintenance man, you know, if you if you treat him right, you know, he's gonna be, you know, sweeping up the floor, cleaning it, you know. So so like let's say he mopped the floor, right? It was a spill on aisle ten or whatever. Right. You know? And then somebody mm-hmm. just walk walk into the store. You always got these people who, who looking for a, a big payday. You know, so that maintenance guy just saved you a whole lot of money. That's right. You know? You know, and um or, 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 no, I was going to say real quick, like, or <clears throat> even if you look at like these office settings where you might have a maintenance man, you might have people working in the mail room, you got people working in uh, distribution or, you know, they might type up paperwork. Now, a lot of those lower tier people, they get treated like crap, but they are really the backbone of of the uh, whole operation. You know, if you're treating them bad, you know, you're going to um, lower the morale of the company and you're not going to get a high work output. So it's key to treat the bottom, so-called bottom half of people, on on a be- a better way because they keep the company going. The maintenance man keep, you know, the the build, the office looking nice. It keeps all the equipment working, you know. So if if the whole if the yeah. um, if, if if things ain't working up the par, then you you won't have a bad operation, you know, because of a bad leader, a bad rulership. scripture when the righteous are in authority the people 
rejoice. Con. But when the when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. That's right. You know, we got a we got a, a, a wicked boss. You know, things are unorganized because of this this, <clears throat> this uh, president. You know, people are going to be mad. Whereas though if you had a a a, a, a righteous uh, ruler or, or, or you know person that was in charge of the company, okay, the business, okay, the people are going to be looking like you know like okay, well you know all right, he might be laying down the hammer you know right there, but at least he shows the the customers some type of appreciation. A lot of these companies don't show no type of appreciation. Come on. you know. And that's why that's why the 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 problems with this society, man, of many, is what it's, it's overbearing with the problems that are in this society, man. That's right. You know, you wake up, this is hell. You know, you gotta you, you in order to 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 go to, to some of these companies, what they say, you gotta fit into the criteria of what they want you to be. Right. You know, sometimes it requires you to save your beard. You know. To, to, to lose your time from off of your um your family, you know you might have a a, a, a a newborn baby. You can't even tend to your child, man. You know because you gotta work overtime and shit like that in order to to, to make ends meet. You might actually be sick, huh. you know, and, and, and you can't even call out because your, your company sits up there and say that they need you. But meanwhile, guess what? The president. Taking all type of vacations, you know, multiple times of the year. Right. You know, getting paid on a salary, show up when they want to, leave when they want to. You know. And and but, but, and a lot of times they're not even but, using their own money. They got, they got what is called a, a a company expense. You know, they use the expense of the company and the employees to go take vacations, not even coming out of their own pocket. Uh, you got a scripture? Out? Yeah, yeah, come. Um, this is first Peter five and one, and I'm gonna read up to four. It says the elders, which are among you, I exhort whom and who am also an elder and witness of the sufferings of a and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of Yahweh, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind neither as being lords over Yahweh's heritage. Yeah, when you're going to that, you know, the, the, the men of the Lord that are in, you know, a camp leader position, first off, if you're a spiritual person, if you go through the scriptures, the Lord sets up the order how he wants it to be. Right. You know, um, <clears throat> that brother you know, may be a bishop or whatever, he may be able to, to, to attend more to the truth, you know, you might be more, a little bit more spiritual, or whatever the case may be, you know. But the, the fact is that 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 person, if you are a camp leader or whatever position that you in, okay, you're supposed to be looking at it like, yo, these are my brothers, you know. These are these are the men that I, you know, I laid out my life for, you know. Because these people in these companies, they're not laying down their life for their employees, man. God. You know, the 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 moment that that stuff, or I say the president. The moment that something ha- happened in this society, right? You always see it in these movies. Who the first person that they get up out of there? The president. Yep. You know, they always save the president first. When you go into these movies, okay, with the, the real movies like Braveheart, okay, that he was fighting alongside his, his men. That's right. You know, the, the, the kings in the Bible was fighting alongside their men. <laughs> You know, Come on. The, 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 you know, Abraham, okay, he went up and, and, and rescued Lot, okay, but these, they were fighting alongside their men. It wasn't no, you know, sitting behind the, 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 the desk, you know, he just sent them, you know, I can just do everything, I just put a, push a button, you know, to just end, 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 end the war that with that, that country. That's right, right. You know? That was that wasn't how Israel get got down, man. You know, you have to establish uh, judgment. You know, when you when you righteous judgment, when you when you, when you're in a position of uh, rulership or power, okay, and and this this truth, man, God. okay, and that that goes down to you know uh, being humble, okay, being patient onto onto 
men, okay, or to all men, okay? It, it, it takes a lot of patience to be a camp leader, that's right. okay? To be the to be the, 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 the man that, that's, you know, people look at like like Apostle Tahal or any other apostles or, you know, elders and uh, camp leaders, okay. you know? It takes patience <clears throat> to be the, in that position, man, that's right. you know? And the, the, the ones that, that, that are in that position, they, they looking out for the flock, man. Right. You know, it, these companies don't look out for the flock, man. That's right. It goes on to say, God, but, it, um, Salaki, my bad. It goes on to say, but being in samples to the flock. Um, could you go look up that word in sample in First Peter 5? You know, but like the brother was saying, you know. If you showing humility and respect towards your, your your employees, you know people under you, you get a better morale of the of the company. You get a better morale of the camps, you know. So if you you know you ruling tyrannically, you know. I mean we are. I mean you know Yahweh Shai is a tyrant, man. You, to be be a be a, to be honest, man. But it's a way you gotta run this thing in order to get the best out of your men. And like the brother was saying, you know, the kings of old, they went to war with they with they with they with their soldiers, with their fellow men. You know, they wasn't sitting behind a computer screen or just like he said, ready to push a button. They was out there actually getting in the game and putting they putting they putting, you know, putting their best foot first foot forward, man. You got that? Yeah, I was shy when he comes back, man. He's gonna he gonna destroy this place, man. That's right. You know, the scriptures talk about he dreaded the wide press alone, man. Okay, he's not gonna meet Esau like a man. Okay, uh, the, the, uh, the definition the I'm looking for is, is like further down towards the bottom. It's like the fifth, fifth definition to the word. Strong's G fifty one seventy nine. Tupas, Tupas. Yeah, it's Tupas, right? Now, the definition is uh. It says, uh, you said the fifth one? Um, it, it's, it's towards the bottom. Yeah, it's like the fourth one. Um, an example to be imitated of men worthy of imitation. That's it right there. You know, worthy to be imitated. You know, you, you got it. That's I know, you, know you, got, you got it. You got it. Is a, is a, a, a president, CEO, or camp leader, or whatever the case may be. If you over men, you supposed to you supposed to show where other men are supposed to be, man. Okay, you supposed to set that example. Okay, that's why I, you know I said the the the, the um the bishop, man. <coughs> you know, you supposed you supposed to, to tend to the Lord's work, man. Cause this the, this is a business right here, man. We are about the Lord's business in this truth, man. This society, man, it teaches you what not to be, man. Okay, oh. I got a scripture, um. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 3, verse 18. It says, The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. You know, the, the, at, the, at, the, at the top of the, um, the totem pole, so to say, you know, um, when you when you go into it, you know, the scriptures, the scriptures talk about, you know, um, he that, you know, is greatest among you, you know, you know, you're supposed, supposed to be, you know, the least, man. Be a servant unto your brothers. Yahweh Shah was a servant unto his his his, uh, his uh, men, you know? So so that's how we're supposed to be, you know? So it says, many many are in, in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meat, you know? And, and that's when, you know, certain things are being revealed unto you because you're humble, you right. know? Now I'm going to get this scripture. <clears throat> Proverbs 29 and 14, the king that faithfully judges the poor, his throne shall be established forever. And that's one of the reasons why these companies be going out of business. Because they don't faithfully judge their people. You know, it's a lot of their people are poor, you know? And you always, you, you got some of these companies, they, they put out these videos, or oh, such and such did this, so, you know, we, we set up for a house and a uh, a car and you know da 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 you know you got some companies that that do do that you know but at the end of the day what they'll do when when the dollar bill collapse they'll sit up there and give that woman that that RFID chip in a hurry that's right you know so this this society man ain't ain't nothing to to, to, to be big enough man you know and 
this in this this um this truth, you know, we are are trying to be kings. You know, that's a part of the goal that we're we're fighting for. You know, so so we have to to righteously judge the poor. Okay, and and we are the poor. You know, we're the poor in this world. The brothers that have to go through the hell that we got to go through. You know, when dealing with the, the woman and the and the, the 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 crazy people of this uh, society, man. Because you got people in the world that just sit up there and say, well, you just need to shut up, you know? Just allow your boss to just talk shit to you, you know? When when honestly, how about some of y'all signs the one who gave you that job? He's the one who can take that job away, you know? So it ain't about, you know, being no uh, what, house nigga, you know? First off, you know, it, you, you, you got to walk circumspectly, you know? You know you gotta pay your bills. You know don't go out here and be a, a, a dumbass. You know, <laughs> but but you don't 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 take no shit, man. You know if you if you can, you know, because these companies they'll just walk over you. You know if you allow it, you ain't supposed to allow a company to, to to take away your integrity. You know, say okay, well you know hey, you gotta cut your beard off. You know, and you gotta you gotta follow what we say. You know, outside of the guidelines of what you know, uh, when it comes down to this truth, we we gotta we gotta obey your by some y'all side first. You know, so don't allow your job to be taken away from you know your time in this truth, man. You right. know, don't allow your 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 woman, your children, or anything to take away from your time in this truth. Because the Lord is about His business. If you saw up and you saw on that you uh slack, you sluggard and stuff like that in this truth, the Lord is gonna take you out. Con. You know, you got it out. Um, <clears throat> quick precept, because you know you made the uh, you made the comment about you know the the kings went to war with his men. I got a uh, Second Samuel eleven and one, and it came to pass after the year was expired, at the time when kings go forth to battle, that David sent Joab and his servants with him, and all Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon, and besieged Rabbah. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. You know, that's the exact, you know, it's just said that the kings went out to war with their men. They wasn't sitting, you know, uh, yards away or in a uh, in, in a, a war room with other commanders and generals. You know, they was out on the field getting their hands dirty. Making their body a living yep. sacrifice, man. Yep. You, you, um, hey, that's what we, we out there doing, you know? Uh, putting your time, you know, into this truth, you know, but, but, uh, back then, you know, they, they put their life on the line, man, you know, like I said, these companies don't put their life on the line, you know, um, this is, uh, Proverbs 20 and 28, it says, mercy and truth preserve the king, right, so if these companies had mercy on their people, you know, they'll be they'll be able to last longer, but they don't have they don't have mercy. You know, <clears throat> they don't they're not using wisdom. You know, you got a person that more sometimes you know they they're in a position of rulership of the company, and they don't have no no diploma, no degree or anything like that. But then they require the person to have you know a degree and, and uh, work experience. Right. You know, and it's like yo, like God dang man. You know, how the hell you get get this position? Okay. You know? It says, and his throne is upholding by mercy. You know? So, that's that. Um, we're going to uh, kind of uh, switch gears, okay? You know, because we're talking about the, the, the um, people <coughs> that, you know, like the kings went forth to fight for the... Um, for the, you know, fight the battles and stuff like that, and also the camp leaders, how things are supposed to be looked at, we're going to switch it around, you know, talk about how a person who may be an employee, okay, how you're supposed to come into the company, and how you're supposed to be looking at things also, you know, how you're supposed to come into the truth, the Lord's business, and look at things, you know, don't come in this truth and expect to be up on top of the, the, the camp leaders or the people that are above you, uh, on their level, you know, because because these are great men that we're speaking about here, you know. You can't just come into a a, a job, okay, come into a company. You 
you know, like let's say you you leased in the camp, you know, and expect to, to to get, you know, in contact with the the, the higher up, you know, the, the camp leader, you know, like the the, the 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 boss is supposed to call you, and 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 not the other way around. You're supposed to call in, man. You're supposed to check in, you know. And so order the things. You can't just come into a company and just think that you're gonna just run things, you know. So I got this scripture. Proverbs 25 and 6. It says, Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. Okay? Now, you can't just go into a company in, in, in Esau's world and just put on a suit and tie, okay, when they got the uniform set up for you, and just be like, Yo, I'm calling the shots now. I'm going to go up into this cubicle, and I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to make the business decision. You know? You know, it don't work like that in this truth. Uh -huh. You know, when you come into this truth, you know, you're not supposed to be trying to make yourself equal onto the men that are above you. You know, you're supposed to come in in, in a humble mindset, man. And, and, and that's where that scripture, you know, goes into, you know, how, how you know, the, those people who are humble, you know, that, that the Lord shows favor onto them. You know, that, that the Lord reveals mysteries onto them. That you understand more so why things are the way that they are. But you got it, Ike, if you got something. Con, you know, I'm just going to add to it. You know, you can't come, you know, into a company be like, hey, I, I, let me speak to the CEO. You know, let me up on a, the 30th floor and let me speak to him. No, it, you have you have people set up under them that you got to deal with first and foremost. You know, you got to follow, you know, that so-called chain of command. And uh, also, you know, like right. you said, you got you. You have to check in. You know you have brothers or, or people set up to where as though you got to check in um, um, to them more so before you get to the higher ups. You know um, when you come on the football field. You know when when they announce a new player coming on the field, they go check in and say, "Hey, I'm such and such. I'm eligible. I'm a receiver." Or you might be an offensive line and you may be checking in on the play, where as though you eligible to receive. So you. You gotta check in with the coach, and then you go to the the, uh, the the referee that's in charge on the field, and let them know, and they make that announcement, and let it be known that hey, okay, so you know that's just an example of, you know, how we supposed to you know, check in, for the most part. God. Um, I got this, Galatians four and one. Now I say that the air. As long as he is a child, okay, because when you come into this truth, you're a child. It says, differs nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. So if it's meant for you to be whatever position that you at, okay, the Lord is going to put you at that position. We're not supposed to come in and think, you know, we're going to force our way into being a posi in a position, you know? God. That's not how things go in this truth. You know, you got to learn, you got to grow, okay, and it's when the Lord puts you at that position, you know. Um, I'm going to get this scripture, Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 8, verse 8, despise not the discourse of the wise, okay, because a lot more often than not, those, those people that are in the position of power in this truth, okay, to, to be able to say, hey, you know, do this and don't do that. You know, they was at a point in time where they had to go through the <laughs> ringer and, and to learn things, you know. So those are the, the wise when you're going through this, this truth, okay. It says, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs, for of them thou shalt learn instruction and in how to serve great men with ease. Miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learned of their fathers, and of them thou shalt learn understanding, and to give answer is it is need required. Huh. You got a, you got anything up? Yeah, I got a quick preset. <clears throat> it's Proverbs twelve and one. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. You know, you gotta you gotta love the instruction that we receive from the men over us, you know. You, you, let's just say, let's even say that um, that you may not, well, not, I ain't gonna say you don't agree, but let's just say uh, uh, the man over you, you know, he, he he's hard to deal with or he comes in a rough manner, 
you know. You got to take that and, and, and able to see whether it's men talking to you or it's Yahweh Shah. So, but even still, the Lord put that man in position and he's giving you instruction because that's who he put up to, to watch over his flock. So you got to receive that as if it's Yahweh Shah himself telling you this, you know. The Lord ain't putting brothers in positions that he don't want there. They're in there for a reason. You know, you got to come to a realization that at, at, it get to a certain point where you got to say, hey, man, it's, it's not about me. You know, this ain't my show. You know, I, I can't I can't go seek justice on a, on a matter because of my own feelings. You know, you, you got to let the Lord do what he's going to do, man. And we ain't letting the Lord do anything. He's going to do it anyway. You know? You got it. All right. Um, I got uh, two more scriptures. Okay. Uh, and if you got anything, you know, we're going to close it off on, on these, you know, couple of scriptures. Uh, 1 Peter 2 and 13. Submit. Okay. Which I'm going to go into this word submit. Okay. <clears throat> it says to arrange under, to subordinate, to subject, to put subjection, to subject oneself, obey, to submit to one's control. To yield to one's admonition or advice, okay, to to obey or subject, okay. Um, it says, uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this a little bit more. It's, uh, this word was was a Greek military term meaning to arrange troop divisions in a military fashion under the command of a leader. In non-military use, it is it was a voluntary attitude of giving in, cooperating, assuming responsibility, and carrying a burden. Okay? Now, in this society, you know, these companies, they, they expect you to um, assume responsibility for something that, you know, ain't responsible, that you're not required to do. You know? Like, why, why the heck would you want the maintenance man, you know, cooking food and shit, too? You know, that's not his job. That's not in his job description. So you got some companies out here that are sit up there and say you need to do this and do that, you know, unrightfully, you know, whereas though it's not in your, your um, job description, your, um, your job description, you know, trying to get over, you know, whereas though that they need to hire some shit, you'd be wise and be like, yo, that ain't my job description. And if you want to play around, you know, hey, the rules are the rules, you know, hey, you, I, ain't, I ain't make the rules, you know, I'm just playing by them. You know, you got guys that come in and say, hey, you know, as a camp leader, hey, we should, you know, which I heard about it before, you know, we're going to do a fast every day this week. You know, every other day we doing a fast. And that's unrighteous. That ain't in the scriptures, man. But then you got, you know, where the, 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 the man might have, you know, might have said something and you got to voluntarily uh, uh, go into it, man. You got to do it. You know, you can't, you can't be in that insubordinate uh, spirit, you know. Um, so it says, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evil doors, and for them, I mean, and for the praise of them that do well, you know. So if you 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 do well in this truth. Brothers are going to commend you for that. Hey, man, this is a good brother right here, man. You know, if this brother need anything, that we're going we to try our best to give him to him. You know, because that brother is, a, you know, if you need anything, you know, he might be poor or whatever the case may be. He might not have the knowledge or, you know, he might be seeking some type of um, counsel, you know. We're going to help this brother out. But but a person that's that's on the outside trying to, trying to come in, you know, hey, to hell with you, man. You know? You ain't done with this program, then we ain't going to deal with you, man. You know, if you're showing yourself to be humble, then yeah, we're going to deal with you. Right. But you got to pr first prove that you humble. And see, you that's, got it out. And that's what you want. You want to get that from, in, in this truth in these camps. You're not going to get that type of acknowledgement or, or, or treatment from these companies. You know, they're not going to be humble and come down and say, you know what, bro, you, you, you are an asset to the company. You know, you go above and beyond your expectations. So... Here, here's some accolade, or here, uh, take a day off, or here's some, uh, you know, a, a reward, a, a, a trophy, or whatever. You know, you know how jobs give them awards, or in transportation yeah, they give. You got it out. You only hear about that in movies. Yeah. Hey, what company out here actually does that shit? Hey. Uh. 
I haven't worked for one yet. And, and, and if you if you if you in that type of comfortable company, which some brothers can, but I would question it. Like, yo, is this company like is they real man? Yeah, like, is this real life? <laughs> Come. But yeah. yeah, you know, you're gonna get that in this truth. You're not gonna get that out here in Esau's uh society in this plantations, man. You ain't gonna get nothing but the uh you know, more hard work. You know? Or more chastisement. God. You got something out? <clears throat> oh no, nah, that was it. Alright, I got one more scripture and we're gonna um close it on this one. Um Ecclesiasticus and you can you can get it out, Ecclesiasticus twenty five and eight. Car. If you can get that bubble can saw. Twenty five and eight car. Yeah, this Ecclesiasticus 25 and 8. This Ecclesiasticus 25, chapter 25, verse 8. Well is him that dwelleth with a wife. That's it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. Well is him that dwelleth with a wife of understanding, and that hath not slipped with his tongue, and that hath not served a man more unworthy than himself. Keep going. And that's what we're doing right now, man. We... You know, we're not in, in, in the position of being held, you know. Uh, a lot of these women, you know, they, they front like they got the understanding, you know. But when you tell them, you go deeper into it, they don't have the understanding, you know. But in society, you know, there's a lot of people that are ruling over us that are unworthy, you know. And and the Lord is, is you know, the one who's in control so that we can, can get that wisdom on what, what to do and what not to do, you know? So so these people that are unworthy, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to turn around, you know, whether you believe it or not, they actually going to be the, the ones serving us, man. Uh, <laughs> you know? These, these women that are, that are at these jobs, yes. they're going to be our servants. That's right. <clears throat> you know? Now, the, 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 the difference between in this truth, we got brothers that are over us that are already serving us, man. Right. You know? Giving it giving us this truth. You know? But these people in this world, they're gonna be serving us, man. You know? And and, and they gonna be the ones who, who, who are mopping floors and you know, doing the most <coughs> pettiest bullshit jobs. And they ain't gonna have no say whatsoever, man. That's right. You know, as scripture say double one to her, double according to her works, we're gonna be telling them, you know, to, to, to you know, sweep spots twice, man. Yeah, that spot wasn't good, man. Sweep it again. What? You know, you know, we're gonna be doing that type of stuff, man. Okay. You know, at our reason, man, because these people like playing with with the Lord's chosen people. You know, we're gonna be able to 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 to, to, to have them tables turn, man. When the Lord puts the the, the Israelites in uh, righteous rulership, man. God, okay. you know, at these jobs that we had now, you know, we can get fired or replaced. You know, but like you said, in the kingdom, that's gonna be continual employment for these people. You know. Yep. It's not going to be no your fight. Especially, Especially for Esau. Esau going into slavery, hard servitude for, for a thousand years. That's right. <clears throat> you know? Hey, but with that, you know, if you, you got anything else out, hey, you know, we're going to wrap it up. That's it. All right, well, with that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the sincere Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing the pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Salawam and death to America. Shalom. Death to America.